So I opened up the package and here's the unit itself. It comes with the spec sheet and a card from the company Fine Fine with some contact information and warranty information on that card. So the unit itself, right here, it has the USB connection on here. And let's open up the cable and let's see how long this connector, this cable is. As a reference, so if I undo this, it is six feet long, which is very nice. Allows you to move away from your PC or netbook and not be crowded up. Now on the on this unit itself, I see it has some kind of a switch or rotational knob. It looks like it goes left to right slightly and pushes down. I'm not sure what that is. We'll have to test that. And then it has a on off switch here, which is kind of unusual for USB microphones. We'll see what that does also. So I'm gonna bring this upstairs to my PC and we're gonna see how this connects to Windows 7 and how it sounds in an audio program. Just wanted to show more of a close up of the microphone so you can see it has a nice stand on there and it has rubberized base to it and it's weighted, you can see, so it's stable so that any movement on the cable doesn't cause it to move. And there's that switch that we're gonna figure out what it does and there's the power switch right there on and off. And there's a little foam protector on there, a cover for uh, air burst from your speech to prevent noise in your recordings. And kind of nice looking. Um, it's got a nice feel to it. And it also has a little ball joint on there, which I just noticed, which is really handy, because it looks like you can go about 30 degrees forward and back and left to right about 20 degrees. So that's handy. So you can kind of put it where your, where your mouth is to uh, get more directional or put it further away, depending on your application. That's nice. Okay, so I'm upstairs to my, on my PC. Yeah, I'm going to plug the fine fine USB microphone in and let's see if we get any reaction on Windows 7 here. So I hear a response and it's saying installing device driver software. Let's see if it uh, installs the driver okay. We can try to use this. Okay, so it uh, says ready to use. It says uh, restart required. We're going to see if we need to do that. Uh, we're going to open up some audio program. It says, uh, it says restart the computer, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I restarted the computer. I'm going to uh, open up my system sounds and go to recording and see if uh, it picks up the device right here. Let's increase the levels to 100 at this point just to test it. Now, I don't see anything coming on and now I'm gonna try and turn the microphone on and now you can see it's responding to my voice. So I have the microphone right there And I could tap on it and I can see that the little symbol on there is showing that there is audio. So I set the level to 100 and let's uh, see how this works with a program, Adobe Edition, which is an audio program. Let's make a recording. Let's enable the track. And let's see, it's right here, the microphone. There, now we're talking to the microphone. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. So it looks like it's responding. Uh, so that is, so you have to have the switch on. It's nice, you can turn the switch off right there. Turn it back on. I'm not sure what this, what these other switches do. Oh, it looks like you could turn a light on and off. That's what that rotating switch is. Okay, so it looks like it's recording fine. Let's 
stop this and let's look at it. And there we go. Are we talking to the microphone? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. So it looks like it's responding. Uh, so that is the Turn it back on. I'm not sure what this what the other switches do. Sounds really good. So I think I figured out what that switch does on the bottom of the unit. You can see it turned on a light right there. So you have a cool little red light. So I don't know what the left to right does, but that's what turns the light on and off. So that's really neat. So what's my overall impressions about this fine, fine microphone, USB? I think this is a great buy. I think it's really cool looking. I like the way the red looks. It's weighted, it's stable, and you can see it recorded nicely. The Windows driver has detected it, and it sounds much better than any condenser 3.5 millimeter line-in microphone or mic-in that you would use on your computer. So this is a great product. I'm going to give us a full five-star rating on my channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.